What's up, babies? Thank y'all for tuning in today. And today we're going to talk about postpartum depression and what that may look like for you. You know, as you all know that I am a new, a new mom. However, my baby's a year old, so I'm not that new, but I have been going through a little bit of postpartum depression. Yes, I've been going through it and I'm not afraid to admit it. Um, you know, it looks differently in each in, in different women. And we all sometimes think that maybe, you know, it show up in the first six weeks or the first couple months. But for me, it did not show up for me until my baby was like between six to eight months years old. And at first, I didn't think I was going through that. I, not so much in denial, but it didn't like dawn on me that, oh, you know, Sierra, you're going through postpartum depression. So it has been an emotional roller coaster. It has been a ride. Um, but what I can truly say is it's important for you to stay around people that love you and to keep you motivated and keep you and keep your spirits lifted and high because for me did i how they put it on tv like oh you know you ready to just strangle the kid and everything no that never once crossed my mind that didn't show up that way for me however it was more so a depression to where i kind of was just eating sleeping eating sleeping just wanted to like just be in the bed i'll eat and go to bed eat and go to bed i had no energy to do nothing besides tend to my kid and just want to be in the bed I barely had energy to want to entertain my husband and that's not good but just being transparent that is how I felt and it got to a point where I found myself I didn't want to dress up I didn't want to get my hair done I didn't want to do anything to make me feel like you know as feel like a woman I did not want to do that I wanted to just lay in my bed um I even stopped going to church some days like just not in the mood I didn't want to leave the house and like I said it's not a good feeling but you have to catch it, and when you do catch it early, it's time to tackle it and not stay in it. Um, it's very critical. And I still have my days. I still have my days where, you know, I just feel like, uh, uh, uh. But I have to keep pushing because you have, I have somebody looking up to me, and he's my everything. And like I said, I have a husband at home that needs my attention as well. So in a sense, it's easy to slip into it, but you have to be motivated to not stay in that place. And again, ladies, I know it's easier said than done. And I'm talking to myself when I say this as well, but you got to get up and keep moving. For instance, y'all, today I kept saying I wanted to get up and go work out. Y'all, I ain't done nothing besides made this video, okay, and tend to my kids. So I have no excuse, but after this video, I'm going to get up and go do it because guess what? It won't get done unless I do it. I have to. And... It helps you keep your mind off of it. You know, the more stuff you do and get yourself back to normal, the more you start to feel like yourself. And I can't tell you when or how long it may take for you because everybody walking his journey is different. But for me, I don't plan to stay in this place too long. And what I can say is I do not, my baby one year, one years old now, and I do not feel how I felt two months ago. I do feel a lot better. So I do think for me that I am slowly creeping out of this stage. However, I have some days where it's like I feel way worse than others, but it's not an everyday thing. And I thank God for that. So I'm just here on here, ladies, to encourage you all to stay motivated, stay lifted. But also, y'all, if you're not close to God, get close to God, because even when you feel alone, you're not. And he is going to be the one to help you get past that. And I made a TikTok yesterday talking about happiness. And that is truly important. Find whatever makes you happy and keeps you motivated, because happiness is good for the heart. You only get one you, baby. Take care of you. No matter what happiness may look like for you, do whatever you got to do to make yourself feel whole, complete, and whatever brings joy to your heart. And again, mental health is everything. And you only get one you. So do what you got to do. If you, you got to watch podcasts, read books, go for a walk, exercise, go to church, whatever it is, do what you got to do to make yourself feel happy and keep your mental intact, okay? And also, ladies, you know, Go out for that night of fun. Go out and just have a, like, you know, a breathing. Because as moms, you know, when you first have a baby, you get so caught up on being mom, 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 mommy mode. And it's like, that's all your life depends on. But you have to realize you have a life outside of being a mom. And I'm not saying drop your baby off and go live your life like you have no kid. I'm not saying that at all. But you have to find a balance. And if you have that support system that's willing to help, allow them to help. Because you never know when that break is going to be needed. And I've learned this, and I'm, I'm saying this and just being transparent. Utilize your babysitter time wisely. 
If you want a babysitter because you spared them like, oh, I'm going to go do this now, da, 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 and you know in a couple weeks you got other plans, baby, sit that night out and use babysitter when you know you really need it. My son got something he want to say, y'all. Y'all hear him? <laughs> but like, I'm say like I was saying, y'all, use that time wisely, okay? So you're not going to be great. You want to say hey to the people? Mm -hmm. Say hey. Say <laughs> hey. Like I was saying, y'all, use that time wisely so that way you can have that break and that good balance. Like they say, you have work-life balance, but you need a personal life balance as well. I love y'all.